Welcome to Pecan Corner. Today I'm going to share a couple of my home remedies with you. Um, <clears throat> I have been sick this past week. Um, it wasn't the flu, but it was uh, much worse than a cold usually is. I actually had fever for a couple of days and, and was in bed for a couple of days, which is uh, certainly not like me. I, I don't get sick very often. In fact, it's been years since I've been ill. Um, but uh, anyway, I wanted to show you um, a couple of things. One is um, um, that I is my uh, cough medicine that I started making when the children were little, because it's the kind of thing that if they want to take a, a a small spoonful of it every ten minutes, they can. There's no chemicals in it that's going to hurt them. Now this year I made it with honey because I had honey, but always in the past I have always made it with sugar and it worked fine and. And I've decided I probably like it better with sugar. Maybe that's just because I'm used to it because the honey really is, you know, more um, um, more healthy for us in, in the sense of, of, of helping to, uh, uh, to, to deal with the inflammation and, and, uh, uh, and the irritation of the throat. But like I said, uh, sugar is also very, very healing to our skin. Um, and so... If you don't have honey, sugar is just fine. And all you do is slice. I've always made this with purple onions. Um, the the original recipe that I had called for purple onions, and I've, I've never made it with white ones. For There's something about the red onions that, that's uh, important in it. And so I, I cut my last, my very last onion uh, from the ones that I grew this year. And all you do is you slice your, uh, your onion slices very, very thin. And, and you layer them with the sugar. Just pour, put them in a in a container of some kind, and pour pour sugar over them. And uh, let me show you. Just super super thin, paper paper thin slices um, of 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 the onion. And uh, and put it in a container and pour the sugar or your honey over it. And and just let it sit for a couple of hours. And the juices will start coming out. And over time. You know, it'll just macerate in there. And then eventually, uh, you can just store it in the refrigerator. And I'm going to show you what a how pretty it looks. It's just beautiful. And it doesn't taste like... See how pretty and purple it is? I hope you can see that. Um, let me turn my little thing around here where I can see. And I can know what I'm doing. There we go. All right. Um, yeah, that's... Can you see that? Um... And it doesn't really taste oniony. Um, that's the other thing. So children actually, because it's so sweet, children will take it. And so for the kids, especially when they were little, we just give them a little bitty spoon. You know, maybe even use their baby spoon and let them take a little sip with their baby spoon. And it can just continue to coat the throat. And it, like I said, if they're coughing badly and, and uh, they need to take it every 15 minutes, it's not going to hurt them a bit. It's good for them. So, um, but just a small amount. Um, so that's one of the things that I that I did. Um, I uh, uh, the cough mint, the cough drops that I mentioned buying were the those uh, menthol eucalyptus ones because uh, my nose was real stuffy, so I kind of needed a little, little help there. Um, but uh, but this works pretty pretty good um, for daytime coughing. The other thing I did is I used two different kinds of tea. Um, <clears throat> I um, I have whorehound, wild whorehound that grows up here in the yard, and um, I, in fact, it's probably um, died back for the winter, but it'll come back up. It, it's a perennial, so it'll come back up uh, this this next year. And um, I don't make whorehound candy, uh, but I do make did make whorehound tea. And all you need for a whorehound tea for a cup of it is literally just maybe maybe three leaves um maybe like that much that much for him is all, all you need to make a to make a cup of tea and it's uh it's very good um to uh calm your throat and um relieve the the soreness and relieve congestion and um it, it's good i i i know it's an old um uh, my my uh, father-in-law uh, and my uh, first father-in-law um, said that his mother used to give it to them uh, when they were ill. And, and he, this is when they were still in Mexico before they had, had immigrated here. 
um, and, and she would give it to them when they had upset stomachs. It's extremely bitter tasting and a lot of people want to add sugar and, and flavors to kind of how it masks the bitterness. Personally, I find I'm better off just just drinking it straight with no, nothing added and um, just sip on it and the bitterness. It, I'm not a beer drinker, but if you like beer, it's that kind of a bitterness to it, that kind of a hopsy kind of a bitterness. So um, um, it's it's really not bad, and sugar actually makes it taste worse, I think. So I just so I would drink on that during the day. The other tea that I would drink is I had, <laughs> by coincidence, I had made friendship tea um, to give as gifts for you know some of my Christmas, and you're all familiar with it. You know, it's the one that has, um, the, the old recipe made it with tang and instant tea and, uh, and, and some things like that. I made it with orange jello and uh, packaged uh, Kool-Aid lemonade flavor and, uh, and, and orange uh, Kool-Aid. And <clears throat> the, uh, I used uh, Red Hots. Uh, uh, I poured red, red hots and, and ground them fine and used them uh, to bring my, my cinnamon into it. And it's really tasty, but having that, that jello in there and that gelatin makes it relaxing. You know, gelatin's very good for us, very healthy, but it also helps coat the, the throat. And so what I found is this is what I enjoyed when I got up in the morning. And I'm normally a coffee drinker, but uh, I haven't wanted coffee. In fact, I haven't had any coffee now for over a week. Um, but I enjoy, really enjoyed the tea, and, and but this one was a good just day daily drink um, while I've been sick. And so those are the those are the the main things that I used during the day. I will admit, and of course my hand sanitizer to be sure that Paul didn't catch it, you know, and <laughs> I'm nearly out of Kleenex, uh, but I have several more boxes in there because I say stocked up. Um, but I have to admit that when it comes to night. <laughs> At night, you know, you folks that uh, uh, if somebody has whiskey in the house, I guess you could make you a hot toddy and that'll put you out. That's probably all the only thing this does. But this has dextromethorphan in it, <laughs> NyQuil, any any version of NyQuil. And uh, I did take this each night to, to, so that I could sleep without coughing all night. And that helped me a lot. But during the day, I was limited to just these things and uh, they, they did a good job. Um, I did run fever for the first two days, so certainly uh, some aspirin if you want. My thinking on fever is as long as it doesn't get too high, especially for an adult now, um, you, with children, you want to talk to the child's pediatrician about fever because children can have convulsions if their fever goes too high. So you, you don't want to ever let a baby's fever get out of control. But for my, myself as an adult, my personal health, if I have a fever, I try to let it run because that's one way that the body fights off infection is by raising the, the body's temperature sufficiently to kill uh, whatever that bacteria is or virus is that is that is causing the illness. So um, I did not take um, anything to reduce my fever during the day. I just um, slept and rested and stayed under the electric blanket and. Uh, uh, went out as, as little as possible. So anyway, um, I hope that uh, if you if you have your own whorehound and and uh, um, when it, I, I think I uh, I think I pointed it out in one of my videos about the wild foods that were available. Um, if I didn't, I'll do another one on it. But go back and I think I think I pointed it out in there and showed what it looks like and. It looks like a, it's a mint plant, and um, it's got the square stems that mints have, and it's got these soft kind of uh, downy uh, on the on the stems. Uh, but uh, anyway, I hope that this will help you. I hope that you guys stay well, and that nobody is going to need to to take any of these uh, any of these cures <laughs> this winter. All right, thank you. Bye. I just realized um, I didn't ask you know if you've got some favorite home cures um, please share them with us and um, I think that would be wonderful I'd, I'd love to hear what your your home remedies are for some things and uh, 
uh, that's more knowledge that we can uh, that we can share. Um, another one that I didn't mention <clears throat> is um, garlic oil for earaches. Uh, when my when my children were, were small, one of mine especially had had frequent earaches. So wasn't anything wrong with him that he didn't ever have to have surgery or tubes or anything like that. But he just and and oh my gosh, you know they always happen in the middle of the night, and the, and the poor little things are just in such pain. When I was a child, they used to blow tobacco smoke in our in our ears, but. You know, we don't smoke anymore, so we don't have that around. Uh, but what I did with mine is I took um, olive oil and fresh garlic, and I would I would chop up a little fresh garlic um, and uh, heat it in the olive oil, and then strain it out. You don't want to get any of those pieces of garlic in there, and you want to have it cooked a little bit because you don't want raw garlic uh, in that because that will raw garlic is so strong it will actually burn the skin. So you do not want that. But I would just fry that garlic in that olive oil, and then I would cool it completely, strain it all out so that there was no uh, bits of garlic, and it was just the pure oil through a coffee filter. And then um, have that, that just a little bit warmer than, uh, you know, just about, the, about body temperature, the oil, um, and, and drop a couple of drops of that in the sore ear. And um, within about uh, 10 minutes, it would relieve the pain of, of that earache. So if you know that there's no um, um, that there that there's no damage to the eardrum or anything, uh, that's a that's a cure for earache too. But anyway, um, so those are those those are uh, some of my my home remedies, and I know you all have some, and you probably have some really really good ones. So um, I'd love to to hear from them. If if any of you do have a video already where you talk about some. Or if you put one up, please leave it in the comments down below. Leave a link to it and, and let us go and, and hear what you have to say. All right. Thank you. Bye.